I don't know. It's true. And promises that I endeavored to the best of my ability to fulfill. It was a time that coincided with an era that was a challenging <laughs> history in the Irish church. It was a time of rapid change. And during those years, so many developments had taken place. When I came to your first class, there was nothing to do. That was so many people it was a basic came forward, no placing their Absolutely. expertise and their experience at the service of the church in parishes throughout our archdiocese in various areas such as child safeguarding, Catholic education, faith formation, sacramental preparation, and many, many other areas. The generosity and the availability of these people, their willingness to undergo training and facilitate the training of other groups has been an enormous blessing for every parish in the Archdiocese. And due to their dedicated work, the church is now a safer place for children and we all rejoice in that. I have been blessed by yourselves, by people with whom I have worked and from whom I have been privileged to learn. Without your support, your encouragement, your advice and prayers, there is absolutely no way that I could have accomplished the things that I have accomplished as your Archbishop. And for that, I will be forever indebted to it's yourselves, the people of Is that the Cathedral Michael Parish, mm -hmm. and the people of our archdiocese. It's the colour of cream leather. No, for the things that I fail to do, or should have done differently, I ask for your forgiveness, and for the forgiveness of the Lord. Do you know what you used to say about the Archbishop? Can I say something? I don't wish to del delay you unduly on this Sunday morning, but if I might briefly mention just a few things that I am happy have been achieved through your cooperation and support. One being the refurbishment of our cathedral, which is so dear to our hearts. When faced with the pandemic and the lockdown, and thank God and thanks to yourselves and the generosity of our people, we can rejoice today in our beautifully restored cathedral. You will agree it is a place of warm welcome, of consolation and comfort place of hope and healing for all. I also rejoice in the fact that Pope Francis responded positively to my request to have Knock Shrine designated as an international Eucharistic and Marian Shrine and this is a source of great grace for all. As a parish, we are deeply indebted to our pastoral council for the leadership and the inspiration that they provide regarding the various ministries which contribute so much to the life of our cathedral parish here in Chuan and which ensures the fruitful pastoral outreach of the church here in the parish. There is such a rich variety of ministry 
being exercised here in the cathedral parish. In many ways, this parish is the ecclesiastical capital of the West. And we thank God for that and we commend all involved in the various ministries here in our parish. We are blessed with the variety of ministry. We are blessed also by the religious in our parish, by the Sisters of Mercy and the Presentation Sisters for their presence, their involvement in and support for so many of the things that are taking place here among us. All of the parish activity is being coordinated by and supported in a very dynamic manner by our administrator, Father Pat Farher, and is being tirelessly implemented by Father Sean Flynn. And I want to pay a special tribute to them both. My prayer is that our new Archbishop, Francis Duffy, will be blessed in his new ministry as he works here among you and serves yourselves, the people of the parish and the people of our archdiocese, and as he works with you to spread God's kingdom here in the parish and in the archdiocese, and that he will enjoy the support, the encouragement, and the prayers that I have enjoyed over the past 27 years. Goramila Mila Mahadev Ganer. He's not going to say a thing. Well, I did mention a thing. 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 I did mention